Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series as well as the Minerai Speech series. I am here to do a memory spread and I'm really excited because I had a lot of things going on this week. I had a sale for my books. It was my mom's birthday so we had um, a family get together as well. And I also had one of my big deadlines for my books. So a lot has happened. I am going to be documenting it in my A5 wide or Estelle. I am using gold today. So I feel like I haven't used gold in a while. I have a couple of washi tapes here from the Pink Room Co. Which kind of has a birthday theme to it because I am going to be using a birthday kit, which I'll show you in a second. And then I have these ones from Simply Gilded. So I will leave my referral link down below for that shop. The kit that I'm using is from Paper Crown Planner. It's called Special Day. I have added these gold frames to the full boxes. And um, I just really like the kind of pink and red tones. Red was my mom's favorite color. So that is why I want to use this particular kit for this week. So you can probably use this kit for Valentine's Day too because it's very pink, but I'm gonna use it for a birthday. I have a lot of birthday kits that I wanna use up, so. Yeah, I just want to use this one. So this is how last week turned out. I used a kit from my shop, which was called Sunday Brunch, one of my all-time favorite kits. I just love all these colors, and I think the hollow foiling that I chose went really nicely with it. So um, if you guys missed that, I do have a Plan With Me video up on my channel. I'm going to be using the inserts from my shop, so if you guys are interested in any of the stickers or the inserts from my shop, the printables, feel free to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So let's get started. I had a lot of things going on this week, and to be honest, it was a little bit stressful just because I had so much going on. So this washi tape goes the full length, but I don't like that style, so I'm not going to use it in that way. I am going to cut mine a little bit here so that I have all the space that I need for the sidebar. So I have my X-Acto knife here and I'm just going to trim that down. And then we'll do the same here on this side. So like I said, I did have my editor deadline for my book, so my last Moonrise Beach book the real thing went to the editor this week on Wednesday so I had to go through that book once she returned it and thankfully I didn't have too many big changes to make she said that she liked it so I am so pleased it was a huge relief to get it back and see that you know I didn't have to do too much to it so that made me feel a lot better. You know, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you send off your book to anyone, whether that's your beta readers, editor, your proofreader, anyone like that before it's actually published, just because you never know what's going to happen. So I'm really happy that she enjoyed it because it is the last book in the series. And so I do want to make sure that this book is a good one. So as you guys can see I have started to put down the base and for the headers I have pulled in the line and bow and the pink scallop and I think I'm gonna go with the line and bow this time across the top of the full boxes just to bring in that really subtle foil. I think I'll be really pretty that way. I chose gold foiling for this one but I feel like even silver might look nice and if you're using this perhaps in the fall time maybe even rose gold would look kind of cool too so i feel like this is a really versatile one also this week it was my mom's birthday so that's kind of why i wanted to use this kit as some of you guys know my mom passed away in september so this is actually her first birthday where she is not around so it was pretty tough for me to be honest um, I was really down for the whole week, I guess. So, um, but we did have 
a get together with my family on her side and we spent all of Friday together basically. And then I think I'll use the florals again on this side. And then I want to use the the girl because I want to save the girl for the sidebar. So let's end up putting this one here. I kind of wish I switched these boxes up because now I have two florals together, but it's okay. We'll manage. Um, for the sidebar, I do want to use this happy birthday washi tape. It's so cute, very intricate, and I just love all the colors. So I want to use this. I think I will maybe center this part here so that the cake kind of shows. And this is from the Pink Room Co. So she has like a whole set that kind of coordinates. So I brought both of those washi tapes in and I'm going to be using it here. So the other one is like this and it says, may all your wishes come true. And I thought about putting that here at the top, but I don't know if that might be too much. Because if I put it here, obviously the writing does kind of get cut off, but I still think it's kind of cute. So I'm going to grab a checklist for this side. And there's a lot of pink in this kit. I haven't used a full on pink kit like this in a while. So it's nice. This one says happy birthday on it. So something weird happened this week on the Friday. So the same day as my mom's birthday. We had like a nationwide internet outage, which was so strange because that has never ever happened before here in Canada. But basically no one in Canada who has the same provider as I do had internet. And so, you know, like no one could work. Everyone had to go home. That day, because I also couldn't work, I ended up going to the mall. We had lunch out with the rest of my extended family. So that was kind of nice. But it also meant that I couldn't work. So I had new releases planned for that day and it was the Hobonichi kit releases, which is a huge release, at least for my shop, because this is something that you guys have been requesting again and again and again. And so I was really excited about releasing it and doing like this whole big thing for it. But that totally flopped because we did not have internet and so I couldn't even post my new releases. So that was pretty disappointing. We lost our internet at 4 a.m. on Thursday and we only got it back the following day at 8.30 p.m. So it was such a long time where we did not have internet and it just kind of shows you how like we depend on the internet so much. I wasn't able to work at all so Instead, I just took the day off and spent it with my family. So it wasn't a bad day, but I didn't get to have the kind of big release that I wanted to have for the Hobonichi. So hopefully you guys still picked up those kits because like I said, a lot of you guys were requesting it for many, many months since I started doing physical stickers. So I hope you guys like the designs. There are four new watercolor designs. And for those of you who are begging for the Hobonichi Weeks ones, um, I am hoping to do the Hobonichi Weeks, but I do want to see how well the cousin kits do because if the cousin kits don't sell as well as the vertical ones like these ones then I may not do as many of them and so if you guys are interested in more Hobonichi kits for the cousin and weeks do make sure to pop in your order so let's get started I'm going to zoom in a little bit now that we have kind of finished off the base but as you guys saw I just used a little bit of that washi tape here on alternating days and then I used the scallop washi from the kit so yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Let's zoom in now. 
like I mentioned, I did have a couple of books on sale. So Nirvana and More Than This were on sale. And you guys can always find my books both in ebook and paperback on Amazon. And then I do have signed paperback versions of my books on my website. So if you guys are interested in that, you can always find it there. Um, the Real Thing finally went to the editor. So that was always exciting. Um, I also had taken a day off for my mom's birthday. And then, like I said, I did have two releases this week in the shop. So I had one on Monday and that had a bunch of new vertical kits um, for fall. And then I also released the new Hobonichi cousin kits. So that was like a special release on Friday. And then the last thing I wanted to do this week was actually finish the second draft of this book because I've been working on this book for so long. I'm just going to add a little bit of the deco there. Um, and then for the books that I read, I only read one book and it's called Ruby Fever and that's by Ilona Andrews. If you guys haven't checked out their books before, they are both very lovely people. So again, I'm going to grab a little bit of the deco and let's add the heart-shaped donuts there at the bottom. Super cute. I do have this little birthday sheet from Miss and Meow and I'm thinking that I want to use a little bit of the streamers here. So I'm going to pop that down here just to add a little something. And this is also in the gold. So there we go. Okay, so now let's finally move on to a Monday. So on Monday, I did start by designing. So I'm gonna put down a dark box for that. And I actually don't have any more design scripts. I do need to print them out, I typically have those in my shop, but I didn't have a chance to get them this week. So so I am actually just going to write it in this week. Um, I did also do some printing and cutting. So let's use another box. For this one, I do have a script. So that is from my shop. And this character sticker is from Teddy's Plans Co. Um, I did also continue to work on my book because I still wasn't finished with it at this point. So I'll use a washi box for that. And we'll use this little cute girl. This day I was also feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, I'm not sure why my mood wasn't that great. Like I said, I had like a headache and all that. So I'm gonna use a paper K sticker and I'm just gonna write feeling sick. Um, I did also watch a show. I was catching up on some TV and I think I'm gonna change it up. Let's use a little scallop here. And for that, I'm gonna use a little paper shire sticker. And then I think I want to bring in some of that pink color. So let's go in with that here at the bottom. And that is for new releases. I have a new releases script from my shop. And this planner sticker is from the Sweet Planner. So I'm going to pop that down here. It's a little bit large, but I do want to use it up because I feel like the colors match really nicely. So there we go. So that's everything for Monday. Now let's move on to Tuesday. Did have that sale for a couple of my books. So I have a custom script from my shop. So we'll put that down and I have these cute bow stickers. This is from White Deer. So this is like her newer version. And I don't know if I like it that much. It's a little bit more dainty. I would kind of prefer her old version like that but that's what I have so we're gonna go with it. Um, I did also go to the post office to ship off some orders so let's use a floral label 
and I have my favorite post office or post box icon from White Deer. I just placed an order with her shop and it shipped yesterday so I'm super excited about receiving it. And then um, that post office script is from my shop. I'm going to use a little sticker because I do want to mark down that I went shopping after. So I have been shopping a lot lately, both online and in store. And that's just because I've been on the hunt for some new clothing. So um, I've been just doing a lot of retail therapy. So this bow icon is from my shop. Um, and then after that, um, I did get some Happy Mail. So like I said, I have been shopping online, so I got, ordered some clothes from Uniqlo. Um, they were just some activewear things. So for the Happy Mail, I'm just going to use this sticker. That is a scallop icon from Samantha May Sticks. And then um, I did work on my book once again. I'm going to use a Sweet Planner sticker. And then below that, I do want to mark down that my B6 Stalogy plan with me went up. So we'll use a Littles for that. And I'm going to be using a little White Deer stationery sticker to mark that down. So there we go. That is Tuesday. Loving it so far. Now let's move on to Wednesday. So this was the day that my book went to the editor. So I'm going to use a scallop box. This is from Miss and Meow and I'm going to grab some of the florals here so that we can do a little bit of layering. I think I might actually do it this way instead and have it kind of come down. And then I do have this little champagne bottle sticker that I'm going to layer with some of these because this is a big deal for me. If you're an author, then you guys know. So after that, I did some filming. I think that box is too big, so I'm gonna go with something a little bit smaller than that. Maybe this one. So for filming, I have a Christine's Paper Studio sticker. I don't believe she's open anymore, but the film script is from my shop. I also continued with my printing and cutting, so we'll mark that down. This sticker is from Paper Shire, and the print and cut sticker is from my shop. And then I also worked on listings, so that was something that typically takes a bit of time. So I'll use this type of sticker with a scallop, and we'll use this little adorable cup. Um, and then, of course, I still had to write. So let's use a box for that. And then I do want to mark down that my July Stalogy setup went up. So let's use this White Deer sticker for writing. And then the Bullet Journal sticker is from my shop. So there we go. I think it looks really cute. I am just going to embellish this area here for my editing just a tiny bit more with some extra stickers there okay so that is the first half of the week complete now let's move on to the second half here so on thursday i did start just by editing so let's mark that down here and i have an edit script from my shop and a little coffee maker sticker from paper shire um, i was still working on my book so let's use a half box. And for writing, I'm gonna use a bow icon. That little coffee to go is from my shop. And then actually this day, I got my book back from the editor. So I started working on the edits right away. So let's use a solid box for that. And I'm going to use this little book with coffee sticker from White Deer. So next up, I did work on listings. So I have a sticker from Fluffy Angel Stationery. I did also have a barbecue this day. So that's what we had for dinner. So I did have to grill. Um, so I'm going to use this sticker. This is from a shop that's no longer open. 
And I'm just going to write barbecue there. So we had some good family time the day before my mom's birthday. And then this day I also uploaded my compact vertical setup. So that is in my new Erin Condren planner. So if you guys have missed that, then definitely check it out. I am using this little My Little Puffy sticker for now because I am waiting on my order to arrive still from my dear where I ordered some spiral bound. So I'm really excited for that to come in. So next up I do have my mom's birthday. So let's mark that down. And I think I want to do something like this where I have the little scallop there. I notice her scallops don't go all the way to the end. So I think what I want to do is add some of these cute string lights here to the top. So we can kind of hide that fact. And then it comes down really nicely. And then I am going to grab the little happy birthday sticker. I'm going to pop that there. And then we'll use one of these little balloons, of course. So I'll have it go down quite a bit there. So that is to mark down that it was my mom's birthday. And then also this day, I was so happy because I also finished my book. So that is why it was such an important day. So many things happened. So I'm going to use a little book stack there. And then I actually do have a little birthday cake. That might be too much in this little area, but... I do want to make it kind of special. We did also have some family time, like I said, with a lot of my family from my mom's side. So I'm going to use a custom sticker. This is from Teddy's Plants Co. And this family time script is from my shop. So this is the day that we had the internet outage. So no one had internet at all this day. So we did end up going out for lunch because couldn't, no one could work. So I'm going to use a littles for that because I, I am running out of space here. So I have a little dinner plate icon. Let's actually move this to the other side. So there we go. And I'm just going to write down the restaurant that we went to. Um, and then after that, we also went shopping because the mall is right beside it. So again, I'm going to use another Littles and we'll use this little shopping girl to mark that down. And this was a mall, so I'm just going to write the name of the mall there. And then lastly here, I do just want to mark down that we had the Hobonichi release. So like I said, this was something that has been so requested by you guys. So I hope you guys will check it out. I'm going to use a Hobonichi sticker from... Paper Echoes and a new releases script from my shop. So definitely use the code SAVE10 to save 10% if you guys are interested in those Hobonichi kits. Now let's move on to Saturday. So Saturday I just did a little bit of filming in the morning. So I have a film script from my shop and the camera bow icon is also from my shop. Since I finally got my internet back, I did some listings. So I had to upload my listings to Etsy. So I'm gonna use this sticker here in a scallop corner and I'm just gonna write listings. Um, I also had to do a little bit of laundry. So let's use a, maybe a hexagon. Should we use one of these? I haven't used these in a while. So for laundry, I have a bow icon from a shop that's no longer open. And my laundry script is from Harriet Wright Designs. And then I had a few shows to catch up on. So let's use a box for both of those. Let's bring in a little bit of pink. I haven't used this color yet. So this sticker is from My Little Puffy and this one is from 
paper shire. That one's a bit big, but I think it'll be fine. Um, and then at the end of the day, I also had my July plan with me in my A5 wide go up. So I'm just gonna use this little cute washi stack that is from White Deer once again. All right, so now we're on to the last day, Sunday. So on Sunday, I had to catch up on some designing. I haven't had a chance to do any of that pretty much all this week because I was doing some other things. So um, I'm just gonna write design here because I ran out of my design scripts. And I have this little sticker. This is from the Planner Shack. And then I also wanted to do some cleaning. So we'll use a little swatch sticker here. This one is from a shop that is no longer open. And the clean script is from Harriet Wright Designs. Um, also, I had to work on my garden. So I have a little gardening sticker that I want to use for this. So I'm going to use a box for that and I have this cute girl that I did quite a bit of reading this day so I have put down a box for that and a paper shire sticker is going to go down with one of my read scripts from my shop and then lastly I did kind of end the day with some much needed journaling so kind of reflected on what happened so I have another paper shire sticker and I'm just going to mark down journal here. And then as the kind of last thing here, I'm just going to mark down that my plan with me went live. So I'm gonna grab a plan with me live script. And this is from my shop. And I'm gonna use another Teddy's Plans Co sticker for that. So that is pretty much everything for this week. I do have a lot of these deco stickers that I am going to cut up and use at the top there because I really love them. I think they're really cute. So I'm going to kind of spread those out across here. And we'll also do the same here on the first half. So all of the Floral Deco stickers are currently up in my main website. So if you guys are looking for Floral Deco stickers, I have quite a few of them in my shop already. So definitely check them out if you like to decorate like this with a few bits of florals. And because I have a few of these little hearts and different clusters and things like that, I will be adding a few of those up at the top as well. All right, so now that I have that done, I am gonna pop this back into my planner and we can see what it looks like now. So here is the spread put back in my planner. I really love it. I think it's so gorgeous with all the gold foil and I just really like how all the colors kind of work together with the pinks and these kind of darker reds. It's really nice, especially for this time of year, something a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. If you guys are interested in any of these stickers or the printables here that I use, these are all available in my shop and you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.